This Advent, many of us have been following the Advent word calendar, which invites us to focus on a particular word for each day of Advent. Today's word for December 22nd is wisdom. Some of us also have the Advent poster, which asks us to slow down and be quiet, to give us space to meditate and pray on the meaning of Advent. That gives us another word for today, peace. So we have two different words which could take us in different directions. And yet I believe that they can both point us towards what Advent is about. Isaiah takes up the twin themes of wisdom and peace when he addresses the one who is to come as wonderful counselor, prince of peace. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation, you have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son was given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time forward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Perhaps like me, when you hear those words from Isaiah, you think of the wonderful choral piece from Handel's Messiah. So I invite you to relax for a few short minutes and immerse yourself in this performance from King's College, Cambridge.
That's so wonderful. But we aren't only thinking of the baby who was to be born just days from now, that first Christmas. We're thinking of the day when Jesus will return and what he will find when he arrives. Are we ready to meet him? Listen to this parable that Jesus tells in Matthew's Gospel. Jesus said, Then the kingdom of heaven will be like this. Ten bridesmaids took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. When the foolish took their lamps, they took no oil with them. But the wise took flasks of oil with their lamps. As the bridegroom was delayed, all of them became drowsy and slept. But at midnight, there was a shout, look, here is the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all those bridesmaids got up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish said to the wise, give us some of your oil for our lamps are going out. But the wise replied, no, there will not be enough for you and for us. You had better go to the dealers and buy some for yourselves. And while they went to buy it, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went with him into the wedding banquet, and the door was shut. Later, the other bridesmaids came also, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he replied, Truly, I tell you, I do not know you. Keep awake, therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour. No one knows when Jesus will return, but the wise person will make themselves ready for him. To return to where we started, the two words we began with were wisdom and peace. When Jesus came to Israel, he was not the warrior king that the Jews expected the Messiah to be. In the same way, when he returns, it will not be to overthrow governments and establish himself as a worldly ruler. Instead, he will establish the kingdom of God where love, wisdom, and peace are found. I wish you a happy Advent and Christmas season, and I'd like to close with this prayer. God of light and hope, look upon us in love and fill us with the spirit of Jesus, that we may love you and serve you in your kingdom. Protect us during this week and keep us watchful in prayer as we await the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the light of the world and who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever.